Oh hey, I was just looking for uh, Elst. Apparently we are on Elst outskirts, but I can't find the, the town, the city, the village of Elst. Instead, we're just gonna have to do with the outskirts here. Anywho, let's introduce the players. In the yellow, we got Brasres playing as the Soviets and his teammate helping creative Inca finisher. It's a trick. It's an elaborate ruse, as it is in fact Asha Blah in disguise. Playing as USF. They are up against... Let's see, we got Isildur in the red, playing as Auster, and his teammate also playing as the Auster, Borbacher. Both Brosoras and Asha has a plan. They have immediately locked in their commanders. Partisan Tactics and Airborne Company. Mm-hmm. Whereas Boro Betcher, he is bringing along with him Jaeger Armor, Assault Support, and Spearhead. Spearhead, same for Isildur, but Fortified Armor and Lightning War. I don't really think there's any interesting bulletins here. Well, with the exception of the ambulance, it costs less. It, well, may save him uh, one fuel and a couple of manpower. <laughs> uh, but otherwise than that, it's not going to have much effect. The tank gun production closed fist, yeah. And otherwise, just buffs for the regular infantry. We got Pathfinders here for Ashawa. Should help him win a long range engagement. They are excellent at long range and also have the sight to go with it. And here are the conscripts flushing in. Where is the Pathfinders there? Well, now they're going in. Excellent work. The conscripts have distracted the Germans. Now we move in for the kill. They do get targeted by one squad here. He is now shifting both of them to target. No, goes back to the conscripts as they moved out of cover. Huddling around the little uh, outdoor house. <laughs> Shit. The enemy has taken our supply sector. Got that right middle here. More grins and I Yeah. Radio intercept coming in handy dandy there. Feeding Brosaurus with intelligence. Is there a, hey that's locked in lightning war doctrine? Gonna see some G forty three rifles and perhaps a tiger and some planes. Uh, this door here is locked. Cannot be picked, this kind of lock here. In fact, you need some wire cutters in order to get into that door. Well, seems like a lot of action is going on around on this side here. We have barely taken notice of this up there, but uh, it's appeared to be a complete standstill. Middle is also completely uh, idle. Welcome to Company of Idols. It's the new hip game for mobile. Play now for free. I don't know. Should I do something here? Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. No, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> party sounds. Yeah, it's a party. Hope they brought vodka. <laughs> If not, then it appears they will have some other uh, tastiness they can be upgraded with. We got a little bit of action here on the cutoff. Captain getting pushed back and we got a, what's that? A pack howitzer? Yeah. Kind of bare bone opening here for uh, Ashawa. He gets a rifle and yeah, well, then Pathfinders then immediately checks up to Captain and gets out this? That's kind of really bare bone here. Meanwhile, the party sands held their ground for a while at least. And now, ooh, look at the old men here. Oh, maybe not old, but look at these civilians. <laughs> just passing on by. We're just civilians out hunting. <laughs> oh, they're shooting at us. <laughs> Pathfinders pack a half-track 
coming out here for Asha. He's gonna use it to take back the cutoff point. Meanwhile, up here, green cover versus green cover, but they are riflemen. They are kind of bad at their long range engagements <sighs> compared to other units such as Grenadiers. Being in green cover here does buy them some time, but that heavy machine gun there is chipping away and soon they'll all just fall and die. One down, two down, three remaining, two remaining. Oh, he tries to get down some uh, S mines here on the on the retreat path. Ho, 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 ho. No dice though. Boy, that was close. Meanwhile, over here, cutoff point has been secured. Fuel is once again flowing. Oh, boom, 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 boom. AA half track completely wipes the S mine field here. Looks like the pack howitzer also got a couple of kills. Well, one kill to be exact. 50 cal being airdropped. Special delivery! No ambulance here. They have to go over to the lovely ladies here. What are they called in Russia? Those bambushkash? Isn't that sort of a thing in Russia or is it those little dolls with another small doll with the inside of them I not really sure drive through nope yeah, just drive through here drive through here surprise ah <laughs> uh, yes a goodbye cover and now negative cover and immediately gets one kill as that little car there got wrecked meanwhile two to two on the way for Borobatcha same for uh, Isildur followed up by Pack and I assume Borobatcha will do the same though what he has no light vehicles he to contend with. Well, there it is. Pack gun on the way. Prosores has not gotten down the tank of the battalion command yet. Question is, will he? He does have his uh, teammate here, Ashabla, helping out on his side of the map. Oh, look. Green cover versus green cover. Hmm. Tier 43 is best at close to mid range. Whereas the LMG is excellent for long range combat. Ah, a little trip flare mine. Easy kill. That's how the Soviet gets you. They wear you down with all their little tricks. A mine there, a trip mine there. And some cheap tanks to replace. Oh, hello. Ah. Got chased down by the 222. Rip. Well, that leaves uh, Ashabla with even less units. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but, 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 he is just calling in paratroopers now. They work excellent together with Pathfinders. Pathfinders can lay down beacons so they can be reinforced anywhere. There they are. And he already have access to all the weapon upgrades here. And he does indeed go for the LMG. Went on there to prioritize vehicles. He saw that A half track. Should just put him off. There we go. Targeting, trying to get in close here, but no. Pin they were. Oh, even armor piercing rounds here. Gonna cut right through that skin. Uh oh. Grenadiers in the garrison behind you. And, well, partisans making the party work. Decap up there. Now it's time for the 2 2 2 to. Um, do something here oh yes but 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 yeah there it is yeah the 222 is uh 
done for. <laughs> Wap. Oh boy. Rifleman with LMG. Nice. And now the party sends are there to pick up the uh, pack gun. Excellent. However, he's still there is rotating over here to help out and doesn't go for the pack. Whoops, kind of uh, kind of neat this one now. <clears throat> and retreat there, a heavy machine gun. Tries to suppress, but getting shot down here. Dead. And now, the, oh, the pack gun is going to get decrewed. And that 50 cal is now up for grabs here. Oh, partisans dead. Meanwhile, not much happening over here. So, uh, back to the action. Kaboom. He tried to take it again? No dice this time around, and the 50 cal, yes, it is grabbed by Isildur. Well, this is looking rather rough now, isn't it, for uh, team allies? Then again, Brosoras. Got an M5 out now. Should be good, handy dandy, shooting down those uh, loitering planes. May I introduce you to the heavy machine gun? Yeah, there we go. Not the best kinds of introduction, but eh, hit the dirt. Good God, is those two to two still being alive and well, hiding behind the fence here? What is it now targeting? Oh, that would be the M5. Oh, he rebuilt the 222. Same cannot be said for Ashablop. He is now going AT guns. A little mine. Oh, suppressed. Gonna target the other squad here. And being as they are under attack, their recovery rate from um, the suppression it takes a penalty. Man, look at Smith there with that little MG. <sighs> They're like, finally, we can do damage at long range. Scotty boy on the way for uh, helping creative Inca finisher. <sighs> Ashabla bringing out the USF's secret late game weapon. Quite early, actually. But. And a pack howitzer, along with a Scott. Ashabla, he got plenty of indirect fire options. And then again, Brosser is there with the light artillery barrage. Is that a 50 cal? I think it is. Picked up by Brosseres. Must have been, uh, yeah, Ashabla helping out his teammate here. Yeah, because this is the still has that stolen 50 cal. Oh, oh. G for the freeze gonna make you melt. More G for the freeze. This could be a dead squad. Though he's not giving chase with the other squad up there, but that would be why, I guess. Oh, so close. So close. We are indeed being fired upon, said someone. There he is, Scotty boy. <clears throat> barraging, attacking. Packon comes down here to help deal with it. And another AT gun for Asha. Okay, good use here. A pair of Pathfinders, scouts, picking the target here for the uh, M8A1. <sighs> Yeah, Major. Just gotten onto the field here. Chop, chop, chop. He may not be uh, the best combat unit, but he has great vision, especially at Vet 1. And he's got some neat abilities. Oh, hello. P 
pack gun. A six-man pack gun squad. Oh, that's rough. Pack, pack. Fires on that M5. It gets away, however. And these Grins here are not about to let the Soviets get away with their hardware. That belongs to the Wehrmacht. These guys here being very sneaky. Red cover road. Nobody died on the road, but they certainly got hit. And there we go. This guy couldn't carry it alone. Oh boy. Lots of infantry over here. They are being occupied by the other pack. Uh, oh, and there is a heavy machine gun for Isildur backing up his pack gun. So he should be able to get away with it. Dead. What was that 50 cal doing all the way up there? Well, must have been the German one. Let's see, Isildur. Yeah, it was Isildur's that got the the crude. Ooh, just gonna quickly get over there. They have Molotovs available to them, and he's not gonna throw it. He's just relying on small arms fire here to deal with the problem. Those grins could have thrown a grenade over the uh, the hedge there. They were kind of clumped up, and meanwhile, all the way back there, it was abandoned, shot dead. Whoa, double Faust just went misfire? I heard the sound play two times, and yep, thank you. She got that guy. Would have been a crime if he uh, escaped. First Panther 4 on the way. Asher Blob continues to bring in this indirect fire. And we got a D crew, but it's already been crewed again. And here comes the G43 gang. It's gonna try with the grenade here. It was briefly locked in, but gets suppressed. Now even pinned. Oh, but something did in fact hit over there. didn't see any timer and they don't have rifle grenades any of them huh oh little 222 there getting lots of holes pounded into it fire take down pack gun takes care of the m5 and 222 gets away but those scotty boys Doing damage there to the crew, but they were also kind of softened up by the uh, white phosphorus. Fire in the engine bay! Good thing the ammunition is safely stored. Otherwise, they would have been cooked. Uh oh oh. Little Panther 4 knocking on your door. The mine there had exploded previously, so no engine damage onto the Panzer 4. And now we got Panzer Grenadiers for Borobacha. These guys pack a punch. Oh, down it is. Pack on strikes again. Did lose a um, no or did no, no, no. It's just being repaired. A third Scott is on the way, yeah. Meanwhile, these guys, they do indeed pack a punch, taking care of the, the rear echelons. And yeah, look at the health just dropping there. And look at the uh, Grins dropping. They may have lots of firepower, but they are not invulnerable to the Scott's fire. Little T-34 arrives, the first medium tank here. I wouldn't really call the uh, M8A1 a light tank. More of no, no, I wouldn't call it a medium tank. More than a light tank. Or a, yeah, yeah. Also goodbye, Conscript Squad, you did. Uh, again, more action just seems to be focused on this side of the map here from both players. And this side up here, it's like... 
Crickets. Uh oh. 50 cal firing up here. Should get some pinned. On. Uh, ooh, Brumbear. Serves up. Lots of damage there. And 50 cal runs away. But Boro Badger is on the retreat path. Is it, we're gonna see a grenade here? Probably not. Scotty boy. Slaughtering the infantry. These guys just getting repaired in. Yeah, yeah. One shot, two shot. Dead Scott. Not available. Concealment smoke, not available. And this thing here could have been a bro and use a barrage there. But oh boy, more people dying. A Grand Squad dead and gone. On the retreat there. What were they even targeting those planes? Didn't really see a vehicle in here. Hmm. Panzer Grenadiers with his Pathfinders. Uh, one Panzer Grenadier remaining. While they are down to half health, they can still fire a gun. Uh, just about now, uh, Chabot is getting his ambulance. A 22 minute ambulance. Better late than never. The babushka down here. The lovely ladies may just be a little too stressed. Or maybe it's uh, Ashabla not wanting to micro his units over there to get healed. Right, LMGs firing. Can also fire on the move when they are equipped by uh, paratroopers. And that's a good one there, taking down half of the crew on the pack. Follow up shot was eh, way off the mark. Hey, look! Ashtabla has discovered the, um, the top side of the map. Excellent. SU-85 meets the Brumbeer. What is he doing here with the SU? I would target ground here, but... Apparently the Brumbeer is winning against the tank destroyer. <laughs> also getting run down here by infantry is not doing him any favors either. Panzerwerfer now coming up for his alert. Gonna make short work of the... Uh, well, this clumped up the uh, mortar squad here. Unless the building actually provides some cover for the uh, falling rockets. Beacon down. These guys... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. Whoops, that's very speedy here. Back on the dirt. That was... <laughs> Tried to throw a grenade but landed on the roof. Mwah, mwah. There's a rifle grenade. Uh, no reaction in time. Ouch. He's dead. Meanwhile, Panzer Grenadiers up to Vet 1. I'm curious to see how well they have performed. If they actually have performed, but then again, up to Vet 1, so they must be doing something. Unless they're just dying. You get experience from getting shot at. Well, that was quite the scatter, despite them being so close. What a disappointment there from uh, the Panzerwerfer. Four kills on these guys. Hmm. We got the ambulance far forward. The Major did go down at one point. So no forward retreat here. Available. Okay. Now, Brosoras. He's got another M5. Ready to go here. I'm gonna shoot down the recon plane. Whenever Borobacher decides to send one in, he did of course log in Spearhead Doctrine. Which not only comes with the Panzer Tactician and uh, Reconnaissance, but also Fragmentation Bombs. Which are very good against AT guns. 
Lucky miss. Needs to get out of there. Could be a bro and use the concealment smoke. Oh, a miss again. Wow. Finally, the path. Furtness? The pathing has allowed safe passage for this god. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, Boro Batcher about to reclaim the top here. Runs into paratroopers here. Ne negative cover on the approach and gets cut down. Now the Jackson is about to hit the field for Ashabla. Brosoras still looking good here. Panther ready. Boro Batcher sends in the Panther. Better late than never. 25 minute Tiger. But yeah. But then again, he did have a Panzer IV, didn't he? It's just my goldfish memory uh, in effect here. And just as I had praised uh, Brosseras for doing fine, he loses his T-34. Oh, Brumbea. That's a lot of planes here. Is there counter planes? <laughs> two, 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 trying to act cool trying to shoot down planes uh, okay so far no luck it is vet free so it is sort of sort of all right when shooting down planes nothing compared to the m5 but given that it's not really a dedicated anti-air unit it, it does all right Well, Panther, your days are numbered. Or not. A little bit of smoke. Gonna go for a check round. A bounce, miss. Can the Jackson do something? Probably not. There's a pack wall up there. So uh, diving in would be unwise. Uh, okay, Katusha trying to get some good scatter here. Two kills. But no D crew. Rifleman joining in. LMG versus LMG. Then again, they are outgunned here. Six versus two now. And Jackson catches engine damage. Almost as this was a cold. Oh no, no! Oh boy, no, cannot crew it with these guys. Only two men need free. And now they're suppressed. They can't enter. Um, paratroopers there. Could have reinforced and also go in there just to get it further back. But what is he's. Yeah, he's getting rear echelons. You are now our makeshift tank crew. Boy, you better hurry. Of course, the rear echelons is the um, sort of okay replacement for the tank crew. The only downside is they won't automatically repair the tank once they exit it. Whereas the, um, the tank crew will. So a little bit of extra micro is needed here for um, Ashabla. Another Scott for Asha. We're all about the indirect fire in this one. Oh, Panzer Grenadiers trying to escape and no D crews from the Panzerwerfer. It did some damage, but see, ambulance undoes the damage. Let's check in with the uh, Panzer Grenadiers once they've reached the base, just to see if they got more than uh, more kills than last time. They had four kills last time, and I'm curious to see how many kills they're up to now. Still four. Mm. Yeah, um, it's not easy getting in close. Huh? Ooh, down to half health there, and mortar carried down. A little bit of diving action that goes on over here. But, look at that. Weapon has been decrewed. Engine damage. The Scott acts like a tank destroyer here, charging in on the Panther. But is then reminded that it is, in fact, an indirect fire platform. 
rather than a tank destroyer. And they really want this Panther dead. Here comes the airplanes. And being crippled. We may not even need the planes. But nevertheless, the planes finish them off. Ooh, even losing a grin there on retreat. And now Conscript Squad goes boom. And an M5. And this has been abandoned. Oh my god, there's just so many things happening at once here. Didn't even get time to catch the M5. Where did that thing blow up? Oh well. And destroyed. Ah, there it is. Oh, ho, ho. Down. And not a Scotty boy is dead. M5 was killed and now it's up to the Scots here to lay down some suppressive fire though their kind of fire is more more than suppressive it actually kills a replacement is coming in for Brothress another conscript squad and boom that barrage was deadly grenadiers and pack gone down Brum brum bear. Feeling a little, uh, feeling a little pressured by the Jackson there. Hmm. Panther diving in. Gotta go boom. Oh! Stops just in front of the mine. Uh, he ex. He didn't exit focus mode driving very slow and the panther now disengages and the jackson is in no condition to uh, chase ah there we go <laughs> got what was that four or five kills on one mine that's great uh oh those g43 rifles means business Yep, another M801. We mass produced them here, like the Soviet mass produced their T-34s. Mick, Mick. Right, so a little bit of a plane here, but uh, it will happily loiter above, as there is no anti-air available for uh, for the Allies. Absolutely zero. Not even the pinball mounted machine gun. And just like that, with vision granted, Panzerwerfer is gonna do some damage here. Rear echelons. Oh! Yeah, rear echelon, and that did. And now he's got a parked Jackson tank destroyer sitting there. Oh, no, 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 no. Another rear echelon on the way, though. I must say, the victory points, they are quite even. A very small lead to, to Team Axis. Meanwhile, Panther just checking this area down there. Nothing interesting. LMGs, they are holding down this um, victory point. Fueled and loaded. Now you will be the third crew to crew this cursed tank all the previous crew there yeah, well you get the idea why you're number three <laughs> goodbye 80 gun here scott's taking it down woohoo oh boy almost got him one HP on each of them, I'd imagine. 50 cal here backing up the conscripts as they're moving in to defend the fuel point. Meanwhile, over here, 
Panzer Grenadiers survived the onslaught of the packs. And now the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Forever alive. Oh, he didn't get in there in time. Yeah, the 2-2-2 two, two, two knows better than to miss with a 50 cal. Unless it actually is outside of its firing arc, then it's cool with it. So cool. Panzerwerfer. And... More Panzerwerfer action. Spread out! Spread out was indeed what was uh, the Panzerwerfer's artillery did there. Let's see the next one here. We got a bird in the sky. Foil! Here? Nope. Well, the ambulance still stands. The same cannot be said for all the crewmen. Yeah, they've been spotted here by the plane. Or oh, so it looked like they were. Anyway, bore batch up. Tiger, here he comes. He's back at it here. Need to uh, get the weapons free here. Open fire, open fire. They've already been discovered. Oh, brave conscripts being bravely ordered into the slaughter here. <laughs> SU-85. Waiting for repairs. The T-34 is first. Here the Jackson. Spotted the Brumbeer, but a bounce from the pack gun. Mm. But they'll have uh, other tanks to deal with. Such as the Tiger up there. Oh, almost a D-crew. Here comes the third volley. No lucky scatter, but... Eh. Meanwhile... Panzer Grenadiers have been given Panzer Surex and they immediately take revenge on the uh, M8A1 self propelled Scott Gun ca Carriager. Such a long name. More Panzer for firing. Oof. Well, goodbye building. Meanwhile, those. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Panzer Faust engine damage and the. Pathfinders here, they are about to be slaughtered. Orders are orders, men. Hold fire, stand your ground. Or not. <laughs> we lost an infantry unit. That happened fast. I see missiles in the sky. He really wants that crew to go away. I can't see. Scott gone. And the broom bear barely survives. Any Jacksons? No, it's not going in. The Jackson doesn't have the greatest of vision. So, uh... So diving may have been futile. We lost a gun crew. Oh, the 2-2-2 two, two, two goes down over there. Was it these guys? I guess? They got it with the uh, AG grenade. Or was it the SU-85? No, it's up to zero kills. Oh boy. He escapes. Back to the middle. Reconnaissance overflight, that means. So I thought it meant. But, but, but what about this? That's runs ready, all right. On the retreat, on the retreat. No, no wipes there. The Grins, once again, escapes. Yes, the Panzer Grenadiers with it with the bundle grenade if they had munitions for it oh, if only. Oh. T-34 and the M8A1 trying to do some damage to the crew there. No wipes though. And here it is. Another Stuka close air support. Ambulance is like, nope, I'm getting out of here. Just sitting on the very edge. Here comes the rocket barrage. That kind of hurt. 20 kills on that one. Oh, <clears throat> let's see the tiger. I haven't seen it do anything, but it has done something. 50 cal gonna need some bigger bullets in order to penetrate this kind of armor. Jackson, you're up. 
and immediately bounces another bounce onto the broom bear pack hearts are abandoned still no damage onto these tanks well ambulance this is quickly going up in smoke for the allies here the jacks are down t-34 going in ramalam but missed there from that at gun no and the miss again main gun down from the tiger but and again another miss the t-34 is dying alive it's dead tiger limps away broom bear limps away did get a grin over there though maybe the scots can get a lucky rear shot in <laughs> oh come on conscript no Come on, Scott! <laughs> Let us see a crazy kill here with your attack ground! Do it! Do it! It was a bounce. Oh, what? It's dead. It's dead. It's cool. AT guns got it. But one of them goes down. A 50 cal also down here. Completely destroyed. Popcap. Below 50. Both of them. The allies are in pain and they have exhausted their fuel supply. Whereas uh, Isildur will, he's practically swimming in manpower and fuel. An ambulance is coming up for Ashabla, but they're gonna need more than an ambulance to win this one. Isildur is still at large with his Panther and Brumbear for that matter of fact. There it is, Panther earning bit two and side skirts. Just quickly getting out of there. Now Brosras, let's see. No armor yet. He is getting that quad mount up and another conscript squad has been killed. But uh, Brosras and Ashabla here keeping on fighting, but for how long? They're down to half health and lots of kills there. Should probably just retreat. Oh, the ambulance is over here. They can reinforce, of course, near it. This broom bear here doesn't give a damn about those AT guns. Yikes. On the retreat path? Well, got one of them on retreat, or two of them rather but the middle remains in axe's hands now two-man rifle squad they can do anything against these four grins and their g43s panzer srix open fire spotting some lightly armored tanks there but oh there we go shoot shoot <laughs> it's the bush in front of them and in turn gets demolished Surprised it didn't kill them outright. And let's check out over there. Just a panther cleaning up. Uh, 50 cal destroyed. Double Scotty boys here. Chases them away and allowing the riflemen to get the, the cap in. Is there still pop cap continues to accumulate resources same for border batcher really he is gaining on is there watch out grenade oh yeah they're getting getting tossed back and here it is the push the dive is there he's like eh, i got 
manpower to burn i'll just dive here with my panther going completely crazy while doing so took a bit of damage from uh, the at guns as he dove in but now he's past demand he is wrecking the allies did they take aim no not enough resources but that was some long range shots there oh m5 is gonna go up nope pack gun takes another target instead and now it disengages um 80 guns getting destroyed uh did get a d crew up there but uh, t-34 on the field chasing but ash of law down below 30 pop cap now i think this is not winnable anymore border batch has got his tiger back on the field and there it is the surrender oh sweet sweet surrender anyway that would be all for this time folks hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe if you did uh, dislike the video if you disliked it and i'll see you next time and if you're still hanging around well we can quickly go over these stats here if that's your thing so yeah, here they are. Isle, they're really killing a lot. Borobatch almost has a one-to-one -one KD ratio. <clears throat> Army value for the allies. And now Isle, he's got, he's, got, he's got to go skyrocketing, I believe. Nope, he's also up there with Asha. Borbatch of following uh, Brosoras at the end here, also diving in. <clears throat> and Isildur just escaping here. Points held. Let's see, allies. Ticking on here. So, yeah, kind of, of a game where it was really dynamic in terms of map control. All right, let's uh, let's have a look here. Let's start with Brosseras and his units. Just gonna quickly uh, go through them. Partisans, yeah, they died an unremarkable death. <laughs> Nothing done for the pack gun. He tried to steal it, but didn't succeed. Ashabla and his units. Yeah, Captain Major dying. Kept his paratroopers alive. Good on him. Anyway. I think that would be it. Moving on to Borobatcha. And his units. But... Yeah. Quickly moving on to Isildur. I'm quickly gonna run through his his units here. Anything particular of notice? Only built one pack on. Hmm. Anyway, that would be all. See you guys later. Goodbye.